everyone and welcome to this week's mindful moment session my name is jean and it's an honor to be able to host these sessions for you all this week we are going to be talking about the topic of a new way to greet people So we should make the act of welcoming one another a moment of presence and love. If you think about it, dogs really know how to greet people. Um, if you've seen a dog or you have a dog when they greet their owner after a long day apart, perhaps, you've seen the enthusiastic tail wagging and the big smile on their face. Um, but how do humans greet other humans um, with such singular attention and pure affection? Um, in our society, many of us feel isolated, sort of, and kind of deprived of this connection. And moments of transition, such as when you meet someone, can be an easy way for you to connect with them and be more present for people, especially for people who you care about. So we're going to talk about this in today's mindful moment session. So in addition to the benefit of demonstrating to the person that you matter and I care, a mindful greeting can also make you and the person, other person happier and healthier. So. We all yearn for connection, to be seen, appreciated, and loved. And we know from science that a hug increases the levels of the hormone oxytocin, and it reduces the harmful effects of stress, which can benefit your heart and your health. So in such an interaction or a greeting, um, both of the people interacting can benefit um, both mentally and physically. Um, so a welcoming physical gesture conveys safety and trust and is a great way to maybe start or close a chapter of the day while intentionally entering a new one with purpose and positivity. So we're going to talk about some suggestions of how you should um, approach greeting people mindfully. So one thing is to prepare to see them. Anytime you're about to encounter someone who you care about, um, pause, take a breath, and open the door to face the person when they walk in so that you are ready and you are shifting your focus to welcoming that person. And that person will realize that you have stopped something um, to make time to greet them. And a second thing is to make eye contact, smile, and breathe. Um, you can say things like welcome home or stand and truly acknowledge that that person has arrived. Um, when greeting with someone with attention, don't uh, get too rushed to start unloading or talking about your day. Connection starts with the eyes, so we should make eye contact and make the person feel like they're being seen, like you actually see them instead of maybe looking at your phone um, and turn your body to face that person. And um. The main mindful practice that we are going to learn today is the simple hugging meditation. So in this brief practice, um, you can practice it with your family, your friends. You can, so first take three, so in, suppose in your hugging position, you take three breaths together. The first breath is you're aware that you were in the present moment and you're happy about that. Um, and with the second breath, you're aware that the other is in the present moment and you're happy about this as well. And with the third breath, you are aware that both of you are here together and feel deep gratitude and joy for this um, in the present. So notice that a lot of this practice stresses being in the present and acknowledging 
your presence and the other person's presence. So um, we can practice this together in um, soon in our mindful practice for this week. And finally, enthusiastically acknowledge people when you see them. Remember, being present is the ultimate gift you can give and receive. So a lot of us, we really like being acknowledged that we're here. Um, we, and it's better if we are greeting our friends enthusiastically. But, um, usually when you are greeting people, um, people can tell if you're enthusiastic or not about meeting them. So in our breathing practice, we're going to practice the simple hugging meditation practice. So maybe imagine as if you're hugging someone you care about, maybe um, someone imaginary, like a stuffed animal. And um, so the first breath is acknowledging that you are here in the moment and you're happy about this. So breathing in. And the second breath is um, acknowledging that the other person is in the present moment and you're happy about this. And the third breath is acknowledging that both of you are in the present moment and you're happy about this. All right. Now we are going to transition to our mindful practice. Make sure that I have shared my sound.
All right, now that we are finished with our mindful practice, we are going to transition to our discussion section. Right, so thinking about the questions, how do you usually greet people? And what makes you feel most welcome when someone else greets you? So how I usually greet people is I like to give people hand gestures, wave at them, um, either hi or goodbye. And um, with wearing masks, it's sort of hard to convey that you're smiling, but you can usually tell um, by someone's eyes if they're smiling or not. So I guess maybe um, try to emphasize that a bit more since it's harder to communicate with masks on. Um, what makes you feel most welcome when someone else greets you is when the when I see that the other person is enthusiastic and um, when someone actually greets me and then tries to um, comes over and actually like talks a little bit. Um, instead of just saying hi and then like walking. Um, of course, if with um, like, for example, if we're transitioning between classes, obviously we don't have time to stop and talk. Um, that's really understandable. But for example, if you don't have many time constraints, it might be better if you greet the person and then you actually try to start a little conversation with them if you don't have any immediate time constraints. So we are going to um, end the session with this quote, the best of the people are the first to greet others. So the way that I interpret this is that you shouldn't really try to, ex you shouldn't really try to expect someone else to greet you first. Um, but it might be better for you to be the first to greet others. And in turn, the next time, others might be the first to greet you. Um, and I would like to source the National Geographic Everyday Mindfulness Special Issue. And thank you all so much for joining this week's Mindful Moment session. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a mindful week ahead.